Absolutely. All right, looking forward to our next semifinal match. We've got our number eight seed against our number one seed. Uh, eight struggled a little bit in their first uh, semifinal match. What are you looking for out of them? They got to clean it up. Uh, they got to you know put in that good, consistent clean work. This is going to turn into the buzzword for you know this tournament is consistency and quality. Um, and so taters have to be on their game. They got to be throwing up big numbers. All right, and from the number one seed, currently number four, ranked fourth out of four. What do you need from them? Um, they got to go back to their quarterfinal form. Um, I don't know what was off in the last match, but they have the highest score in this tournament, and if they don't bring it, if they don't bring that again, they'll be out. All right, let's send it down. Tyler and Dan, we're ready for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, quarterfinal number four coming up here. Sorry, semifinal number four. Featuring your number eight alliance in red, number one alliance in blue. Let's meet these fantastic teams. Alliance captain of the number eight seed alliance, 2338. From Oswego, Illinois, Garrett Forward. And how about their alliance partners? It's 107. Out of Holland, Michigan, Team Robotics. Looking for another four-sack match. It's 21-22. Out of Boise, Idaho, Team Taters. And we do have a substitution over on Blue Alliance. Coming in for the Flying Toasters. Please welcome on the number one seed, Team number 16. From Mountain Home, Arkansas, the Bomb Squad. Alliance captains, let's see if their gamble pays off. 17-30. From Lee Summit, Missouri, Team Driven. And running out this alliance, looking for a good auto score here. 11-14. From St. Catharines, Ontario, it's Symbotics. Green light, time to get humans off the field. Gates closed. Drivers behind the line. Semi-final number four, ready. Three, two, one, rush. All right, here we go. Semi four. Two of those containers brought over to the red side by Garrett Forward for red. One of them brought over on the blue side by the bomb squad for blue. Here comes teleoperator mode. Drivers have control of the robots. No bonus points in that autonomous round. Symbotics with their long trail conveyor belt looking appendix, appendum to their robot. Quickly stacking up six and dropping it off. They've got some more waiting for them when they get back. Meanwhile, their partner is also putting up a stack of six. So there's two on the blue side already. Two on red as well. Here in the early going. 83 seconds remaining in the match. Garrett forward making it three on the red side. The bomb squad with a stack of six. Moving in position to score that one as well. Trying to condense it, and they drop it off and release it. Nicely done. Symbotics, in the meantime, put one up for blue as well. So two of them went up. There's four now on the blue side, three over on red. But here come two of them at once. Taters, 21-22, putting one up, as well as 107, Team Robotics. So red up to six. Blue has five. 
And we still got plenty of time to go. We're just under 40 seconds remaining in the match. Bomb Squad putting up another stack of six. No container on top. We go down under a half a minute. Another stack over on the red side. Another one coming up on the blue side by Symbotics. We go under 20 seconds. Now 15 here left in this match. We now go under 10. Eight stacks on the blue side. Looks like eight on the red side. With one second and time now expires. So a solid match for both alliances. We've got eight and a half stacks over on the red side. We've got nine stacks over on the blue side. Most of the stacks actually have containers on top, but there's a few without them. The referees tabulating the absolute score. We'll get back to you in a minute with that. Okay, we've got some official scores here for this match. For the Red Alliance, 320 points, 280 for Blue. That ups the average of all both of those alliances. Up to Colin and Danny. Semi-final four in the books now. We saw our first substitution of IRI. The Red Alli or the, the Blue Alliance, excuse me, our number one seed, bringing in Team 16, the Bomb Squad. Why'd they make the change? Well, it looks like what they what we're trying to go for, um, they, they, they actually shuffled almost everybody around on that alliance. They took 11-14, uh, pulled them out of the landfill. Using their ramp, they stayed at the human load station. I think this was done to speed up their cycle time. They kept all of the recycling containers back by the driver wall, so now they didn't have to drive the length of the field. They just had to stay at the driver wall, grab a container, and keep scoring or keep loading out of the human load zone. And out of the Red Alliance, our original number eight seed, 21-22, they come out again strong. They kind of rebounded a little bit there. They absolutely did. Uh, Taters put up three 42-point stacks, huge numbers, and nine additional totes. These guys are really peaking at the very right moment. And it, it, I'm not sure if the camera could see it. We're behind the field and we could see it. 107 actually had another stack of four or five. Tote got in there sideways and they weren't able to score it. They decided to just stay back out of the way right. so that they didn't disrupt the other stacks worth a lot more points. There were, there were, yeah, there were eight stacks scored and five more totes that could have been scored. This alliance still has room to grow at 320 points. They still have more that they